My name is Muhammad Shahriar Alam. I am WebGIS specialist from Bangladesh. In other hand, I am a member of OpenStreetMap Foundation. Today I am here to talk about is WebGIS. I know maximum of you already know about GIS which means Geographic Information System. You also know how to use GIS and uh, how to analyzing using GIS in your research but do you know how to share your this GIS analysis your this GIS projects publicly using web service this is why we use web GIS web GIS is the combination of two terms number one is web and another one is GIS both of these combinedly make web GIS you already know about GIS you just need to know some basic issues of web maybe you are thinking now yeah maybe I need to know use programming knowledge otherwise I can't start my WebGIS career if you are thinking so you are wrong WebGIS is the combination of 70% GIS work and only 30% of web work so as you already know GIS you just need to know few basic knowledge of web programming and in other hand there are many open source platforms which help you to publish your GIS work in web with share option also so now let's see into this slide what is web GIS and after all of this enjoy GIS introducing web GIS web GIS is the combination of two systems number one is web or internet and Number two is GIS, which means Geographic Information System. It is a technology that is used to display and analyze spatial data on the Internet. It combines the advantages of both Internet and GIS. It offers public a new means to access spatial information without owning expensive GIS software. Now let's see definition of WebGIS. WebGIS defined as a distributed information system comprising at least a server and a client where the server is a GIS server and the client is a web browser, desktop application or mobile application and much more. The server has a URL so that clients can find it on the web. Now let's see desktop GIS versus web GIS. Simple a desktop GIS is installed and operates on a personal computer. User can only display, update, query and analyze geographic data locally. A desktop GIS is not accessible on a server or externally, therefore limiting access to how and where it can be managed. Compare this to a web GIS and an organization can reduce lead times. WebGIS creates the way of access for the group of users. WebGIS can be used by dozens or hundreds of users simultaneously. Nowadays there is a question in where we can use WebGIS and uh, what is the career of WebGIS? I think WebGIS can be used in any sector. We are already using WebGIS in urban planning, in rural planning, in transport planning, in real estate, in environmental management, in tourism site development. We are also using WebGIS in health sector. Even we can use WebGIS in business sector also. How? WebGIS can be used in business sector using location-based analysis. Maybe you are thinking of what is location-based analysis? This is a powerful tool to develop your business. We can use GIS in this location-based analysis to start our new business. Say, uh, you want to start your new business and uh, you are thinking in where you need to develop your business and uh, where will be your first office. Using suitable site analysis in GIS, Easily you can identify the suitable location of your business office by inputting some criteria like uh, your office 
uh, should be far from residential area or near from residential area your office should be in the commercial zone and uh, near to the industrial zone you can input your this criteria and uh, by this GIS will give you a wonderful map for the suitable location of your new office so you have developed your new office now you need to analyze your target customer if you have a GIS map by which you can see uh, which area of this state are uh, residential area which are commercial area and which are industrial area and you need to analyze and identify those area which area are far from industrial zone and near to the residential zone or whatever you want just input this criteria GIS will give you a wonderful map with suitable area from where you can choose your target customer based on your selected criteria so now you have a business office and you have your target customer area now you need to create branch office same process you can create the branch office suitable site selection after that if you have a web GIS map in where you can see your customer zones and your branch offices in another state or another area and if you click your that branch office it will show the profit of this month the loss of this month and you can easily analyze which uh, branch office give you profit and which are in loss so it will be easy for you to see in one map your whole branch office and your whole profit and loss and which branch office should be developed and uh, which branch office are already giving you profit so in this way we can analyze our business using location based analysis so now we already know how to use WebGIS in business sector. Now let's see how to use WebGIS in tourism sector. We already know we can uh, plan a tourism site using GIS. If you publish this GIS map in a website so that citizen can see the tourism site, what is in there, what is the uh, facilities of this tourism site, uh, why they will go there. It will be easy to understand in a web map why tourists will go there so we already know how to use webgis in tourism site and we already know how to use webgis in environmental sector and uh, also in planning sector so we can say we can use webgis in any sector as webgis can be used in any sector so there is a use opportunities of webgis career you can start your WebGIS career without any confusion. Thank you.